Hi everybody, NC Prepper again with you. Today I wanted to talk about a solar generator that I've recently uh, put together. It's just a simple project that I've uh, been working with and wanted to sh kind of share it with you. I'm kind of proud of it. It's something that I've used uh, a little bit. I haven't, as I said, I've not completely finalized on the uh, final design here. But it's, uh, you can see I've got a pretty large battery in there. And I added a cigarette lighter plug. I do have a battery tester on there. It's just a container that I picked up at Walmart, actually. Sorry, I'm just, I'm using the camera by hand today. And instead of using the tripod like I normally do. On the back side, I'm not sure what this connector is called. Um, but it's just something that I've I kind of settled on. My solar charge controller came with the same kind of connector, so I figured I would just keep it all to in this all the same and just go with something like that. You can see some of the other various things that I use. I'll talk about those in a minute. But basically, I, I liked it so that I, where I could take the top off, I could get to it and service it pretty quickly. I could change the battery out if I wanted to. Kind of looks like a rat's nest in there. Um, like, it looks worse on camera than it actually does in person, but, you know, it's still a work in progress. The container, though, keeps everything kind of neat and tidy. Uh, what I've done is basically I mean you can if you've done any kind of research with solar charger having it with 12 volts I can use you know, one of these to give me USB so if I'm off if I'm my main purpose of building this is and I guess it's just like anybody else when I go camping you know, sometimes I may want to stay for the weekend and I may not have access to electricity. Some of the campsites, that are, uh, like we have Umstead National Park here, it's primitive camping. Are we actually, I live in North Carolina, so there's also Uari National Park. No electricity there either. It's primitive camping. Um, and it sounds like it'd be a luxury. Um, the, my main purpose of building this actually was I use a CPAP machine to sleep. So I do want to go camping and I love to be outdoors, but I do need my machine to sleep with. So I was trying to come up with a compromise of some way I could run my machine and uh, and then still be able to use it for electricity during the day, like to charge my uh, cell phone in my uh, camcorder. So as I said, I, I've got a USB to plug in. Uh, this is just one of the simple one amp. Uh, you're not going to read that, but one of the one amp. I need to upgrade that and get one of the two and a half, two point one or three amp chargers. So if I do take my iPad to edit some videos on, I could do that too. Or I've got a simple, really old but simple, uh, you know, AC inverter. This one is a seventy-five watt. Uh, the nice thing about my CPAP machine is that it runs on 12 volts and it's only 60 watts, 65 watts, something like that. So I actually could get an appropriate uh, 12 volt cord with the right plug on the end and I would be able to plug this directly into my inverter without having to use, I'm sorry, I'd be able to charge it and plug it into my generator without having to use the inverter. Uh, if you don't, if you're kind of new to these there's a pretty big power loss in the inverter itself. They're typically only 85% or so efficient. You're going to get a lot of heat, a lot, a lot of electricity. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of the efficiency is lost through heat when it converts the 12 volts into the 120 volts, uh, the way that they have to do all the stuff inside there. So the moral of all that is the more you can get to run on 12 volts, the more efficient everything's going to be because it's a it's a one-to-one -one connection uh, i may have shown this already but i'll show it to you again is the uh way i can use my keep this charge when i am completely like doing primitive camping is i just use a simple solar charge controller and i have a uh a 20 watt solar panel um my hope is that i won't run this battery all the way down uh, overnight using my cpap machine 
and I will be able to but using the charge controller I'll be able to leave the solar panel hooked up so first thing in the morning as soon as as long as I can get the panel aimed right first thing in the morning and just move it throughout the day uh, I should be able to keep this battery topped off um, one of the things I do have at home to keep it charged is something that I picked up from Harbor Freight it's one of these uh, battery maintainers that uh, uses this uh, it's got a cord cord to keep it kind of neat um, originally it comes with a big set of uh, alligator clips but uh, as you can tell I put on the same connector to make it match that one of the upgrades I'm going to do in the future also I've got the meter in I've just got to get it put, uh, make a hole in the case and uh, or figure out where to put it and then I'll be able to actually tramp track the amperage that I'm pulling from the battery uh, through whatever device I plug in pretty much immediately and know whether I need to figure out a way to keep it charged or if it should it should last um, you may have been wondering this battery is a 26 amp hour 12 volt battery so it's big and heavy um, but it should last all night it should run my CPAP machine running all night um, and if worse comes to worse I'll typically won't be too far away from my vehicle uh, I could just always take this whole device take it back to my Jeep and uh, plug it in charge it that way so that's about it um, just uh, let me know what you think if you've got any uh, suggestions or comments please leave them in the comments below if you like the video give me a thumbs up and I am still looking for more subscribers and uh, subscribing is a good way to know when I come out with new videos so this is uh, NC Prepper trying to help you be better prepared I'll come back with a video as soon as I can bye